Good evening and welcome to News 24. Can you explain to us the impact that your research has had and why you think this is important? Absolutely. In fact, I'd be delighted to. Uh, if I could just explain um, the impact first and foremost. Uh, the, I think the question more and more often asked of today's research projects is not how many investigations have taken place within them or indeed how they were conducted, but what was their impact upon the stakeholders? Gantt tells us that it is now increasingly common for those conducting research to have to articulate the specific impact that their research has had. And this resonates with my own personal conviction that measuring the impact of research is a critical part of the validity process. Further, if the research we conduct is to be taken seriously, then eventually we will need to prove its worth. This is a theory backed by Davis, Nutley and Walter, who tell us that this is important if non-instrumental and social economic research is to be valued. So I guess the challenge is how we measure this impact, particularly where it is not immediately obvious and even less so tangible. In order to measure the impact, it is clear, I believe, we must discover ways in which it can be identified. And in order for us to consider the full impact of research and receive really good quality feedback, we must ensure our audience is carefully selected. We must also give due consideration to ensure that a systematic and unbiased analysis of the data collected has taken place. It is my belief that when collecting mainly qualitative data, a pragmatic rather than scholarly view should be taken when analysing the data. And, and this can be done by identifying such things as re recurring themes. Ryan, for example, tells us that identifying themes in qualitative data is one of the essential and basic tasks. Foss and Waters suggest we should look for the story within the story and that paraphrasing what is found against the research questions can help to separate the usable from the non-usable. So the, the, the process of mapping the impact of my research and its dissemination has been a journey of discovery and a confirmation of skills gained. The identification of themes such as the ones listed in the impact map within the research allowed me to reflect upon specific areas of my own learning and highlight strengths and weaknesses that I possess. It has allowed me to measure the impact that the research has had upon my immediate team <clears throat> and on the organisation as a whole. For example, by using techniques such as self-reflection, I have been able to identify weaknesses in my own communication skills which in turn has led to an increased value of the dissemination of both technical and organisational information. I have identified that team members enjoy having greater autonomy and respect me more for allowing them to be more creative. Um, the research has allowed me to investigate frameworks to ensure that the meetings that I hold have structure, aims and a purpose. I have to ensure that my research throughout has been ethically sound and this is important so that I can be really acutely aware of my ethical responsibilities. I've had to go back and engage with my team to ensure that they were happy to continue with the research, particularly after the first meeting which had um, a negative impact. I've had to investigate a plethora of literature related to my study in order to seek out what had already been written by others in this area. And again, this has had a positive impact upon my own research skills. I, I was pleased to see that a common outcome across the entire target groups was that everyone was much happier. I was thrilled to know that my research, along with the communication skills that I had gained, meant that team members were now coming to work with a greater sense of well-being and motivation. Uh, the results of this were almost immediately apparent. The team began to become more functional and uh, were coming to work um, more, far more happier. Uh, the, the team are now seeking out new ideas and giving constructive feedback to others during the team meetings that we hold regularly. Feedback from other line managers around the organisation has shown that my research has had an impact uh, with them as well. Uh, some line managers are now taking entirely different approaches to the way in which they manage their own teams. My research presentation, which forced me to investigate various methods of dissemination, has shown that they no longer need to be so heavily involved in the day-to-day -day workings of their teams. 
it has proved that they can afford to trust the members of their teams to complete tasks autonomously. And so I'm receiving accolade from these line managers as they continue to give me feedback as well as add suggestions of their own about what it is that they've discovered having applied my, my research in their environments. I think particularly worthy of note is that although this research had the potential to be highly volatile given its personal nature, by the end of my third and final research cycle there was not one negative impact upon any of the stakeholders. And I believe that this is due to the fact that everyone that the research involved had a genuine desire to make the changes necessary to create a more positive working environment. And it is for this, as well as the other highlighted impacts, that I believe that this research has made a huge impact and has been a tremendous success. Thank you for discussing your research with us. It seems very clear that it has been a huge impact. Thanks for joining us here at News 24.